Okay, well I'm at what I would call at the estuary the heart of the forest. I've dedicated this month or so, this lunar month anyway, to hanging out in this area. I've got the Vesca Pisca done. Nobody's touched it. If it can stay there a day or two, I'd be happy without any destruction. If it can stay there a week or two, even better. So everything's added unto it with every day that it stays there intact. Hopefully some people will get to happen upon it and enjoy it. It's already been, uh, somebody already tempted to curse it while I was there. People don't know the curses that they utter. And it's amazing how, and I know this is going to sound ironic and, and uh, sarcastic, but it doesn't have to be, just as a pure read. It's amazing to me how anxious inverts are to tell me and to show me huge lapses in their brain function, socially uh, evident, logically evident. They just cannot morally reason. They can only try to be social. All my life, when I grew up, I was around inverts and in very inverted satanic town. People always telling me that I wasn't social. You know, always trying to imply that you're not, you're not okay in some way. You're not working hard enough. You're not social enough. You're not doing this. You're not doing... I got that my whole life. I got it from inverted siblings. And it's amazing. As I get older, it's just the opposite seems to be the case. I would consider my siblings some of the least socially intelligent people I've ever met. But you don't have to be socially intelligent to be part of society. Very few people have social and emotional intelligence, much less emotional uh, and moral reasoning. Very few people. I lived with a lady, worked for the government, had a degree in uh, clinical counseling. It's not a huge thing. But, and was doing um, all kinds of new agey stuff and getting into coaching. She has actually a coaching channel. I'm not going to give her name. Curse her. I don't need to curse her by giving her name. Just useless, useless person. And uh, I lived in her house for a year, and you know, she never found out anything about me. And whatever little she ever found was leverage in order to show me how much she knew and how much more mature she was. And I'm used to this. I don't even take it personally all the time. I mean, if people want to show me just and confirm for me just why I don't trust them, the truth will out. Like, inverts have to tell you the truth. They can't help it. They don't even know that, but they have to. Everyone has to tell you the truth. I have to tell you the truth. My body language will tell you the truth. If I was uh, really angry and trying to suppress it, it might tell you the truth. If I'm connected to the Luciferian, Saturnalian complex, and I'm just sort of some sort of like stupid retard who thinks he's got some kind of connection to power, who's actually just a self-deluded, useless, middle-aged waif who's going to die in total solitary isolation and complete and abject failure... <laughs> They could be. <laughs> I mean, inverts do not take care of themselves. Right? There's a, I'm not going to tell you how I know this, a story of a local lawyer, right? We're all fucking inverts. They have to be. Um, you have to be able to lie. It, it's obvious, anyone who knows the system, you have to be a liar to work in the criminal justice system. You have to be a liar. You have to be a liar. Anyone to do with the criminal justice system is a pathological liar. You have to be. Now, get past that and then study how people lie and how they can be induced to living in a medium saturated with lying. The medium is the message. Probably the only truthful thing an invert has ever said. In an inverted world, what do you do? You have to practice lying. They're always lying. Everything's a lie. Watching sports makes you a better person. Being able to move a basketball or a golf ball and put it into holes and face really strong people trying to stop you from putting the ball in the hole or over the net or in the basket is a total waste of time for any self-respecting man or woman. Most of whom, by the way, are inverts. They're sexually reversed. All of them. Testosterone comes in really handy. Steroids come in really handy. I see it all the time now. I see inverts around me all the time. They always look a bit different. Sometimes they look a bit retarded. Sometimes their bodies look out of proportion. The women are almost always, are quite often fat. Like if they were born anything like a woman, the free martins are often fat. Um, they can be bubbly. You know, just I see it all over the place now. Very few people, I feel, are really connected to anything except the inverted world. It's amazing they even stay alive, and it's not surprising to me people get sick so often. But they never learn from their sickness. And they don't have a structure to fall back on to ever do so. You know, the whole mind 
is keeping up a kind of pretext, a kind of subterfuge, a leisure to man, so to keep out the pain and the truth, which are often connected, in a world of such stark and unmitigated inversion. Very few people have the courage to face the types of contractions that one will undergo with an enormous amount of grace. Because by and large, I mean, most adults at some point will confront something like the enormity of evil, inversion, or lying, or deception in the world. Then the question is, what they're going to do about it? And mostly, at first, you'll bring to bear all the kinds of lying that you've already learned. To lie to yourself. You say, well, people just told me that. I learned that. But you learned lies. And as much as you learned lies, you repeated them to yourself. And a lie could be something where something's just wrong. Maybe someone's mistaken. But ask yourself this, if certain things, even if they're called lies by any number of people, including myself, are simply just mistakes that can be answered for by this just the dizzying logistics of trying to manage information with such stark imperatives for biological and social survival over thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of years, ask yourself this, that when mistakes are seen and known to be as prevalent as they are, why do people have such a difficult time acknowledging those mistakes? So they're not just mistakes, they're lies. There's even a, an incidental mistake that gives somebody leverage in a world full of lying is still a lie. And it's still serving to increase the leverage that liars have over their victims. A person in, in an orange jacket walking by, that's interesting. They can't see me talking about inverts, and they look like sexually ambiguous. The person who just walked by, first person I've seen in the park today, sexually ambiguous, wearing an orange jacket. And uh, Conspiracy by Hans has been very vocal about this idea of the color orange associated with inverts. I'm going to get a little cold out here, so um, I'm going to light up a joint and probably start walking in a circle. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. You hear that? Nobody's yelling, man. So far, no one's ever trespassed upon the heart of the forest yet. It's not hard to find this place. Yes, Odin. What is it? I think people should watch out for hand gestures. You know, people flashing the horns and things like that. Because it, it definitely means evil in every case. <laughs> what about the energy in it? You know? Has anyone bothered to look up the horns and what horns represent? Or even just what you might think they mean. some push-ups here. Keep myself warm. I'm going to just invent some exercises. Rain's exercises for staying warm in the cold. Because if I'm going to be doing stuff like this, I'm going to have to learn to stay warm.
to get that blood moving. Oh, look, the sun might come out. The sun might come out right behind me here. Okay. Just got to keep moving a little bit, keep that uh, body heat up. Curse the inverts. I curse local law enforcement. I curse all the local in inverted politi politics. I've seen enough to know that uh, pretty much probably every township in the world is working with evil. Uh, movies depicting townships are evil. Usually B-grade pedophilia uh, porn. Uh, if there's a man, he's always big and strong and owns a bunch of shit in town or he's going to take care of the children or he's going to take care of you. <sighs> Never anything about family. Parents are always incompetent or dead. It's totally inverted. Are we really all that threatened on a daily basis? I don't, I don't have to really confront inversion. The biggest thing that happened to me in this park is I saw a couple of young people who'd been enlisted, perhaps even volunteers for the local nature trust, and they were going through a forest over here. And it's just, first off, it's the energy. I could say, oh, they were doing this and that. Just the energy. I just didn't like it. And you spend enough time in nature and you just feel it, right? You feel it. You just feel it down deep. You're like, something's wrong. And I thought, well, I'll just... I thought I'll leave it, because again, just thought young people fucking around. And then I heard them cutting something. And I thought, okay. So I got my staff, which is about seven foot staff at the time, and I walked up, walked down down the trail, and I thought, well, at least I'll make contact. So I said, hello, you know, what are you up to? And da 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 da, we're taking down the holly trees. And I said, well, it's your call, not mine. And they said, oh, da da da, it's fine, that's cool. And they're just kind of like, yeah, your call, not mine. You know, just forcing them to take responsibility for what they're doing. I mean, why? Why would they take this down? There's no reason. There's no actual reason. There's probably a scientific reason, but it's not a reason. Right? Science isn't reasonable. This one with science reasonable. You have to be fucking like chugging like the anal shinola of Satan himself for all the first 13 years of your education to think science is reasonable. It's as reasonable as it needs to be. It's as reasonable as evil can be. Right? It's like the world is good as evil can be. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. There's nothing wrong with living like that. It's actually okay. If you've ever been in a cult, it's okay to live outside of the cult. Where is civilization going to take you? What happens if you, if you don't suck the cock of Pindar every day? What's going to happen? Is the world going to blow up? Nothing ever happens. The big gun being held to your head by civilization that says, work, you little pissant fool, contribute to our fucking glorified religions and our military, doesn't have any ammunition. It's just a lie. But they get it in there deep enough through all the epics of your sexual, emotional, and mental development that it goes without saying that you need to do various things in order to survive because it gets into your survival systems, programs the survival imperatives, hormones and sexual hormones, in a way that comes, you come to think of as totally natural. And of course, what people do to survive, they do as hard as they fucking can, don't they? They survive. How many people are just working poor, just surviving? And don't they just survive? You know what their families are suffering from? What they need to do to survive, both externally and esoterically in their own minds. And so in the crossover, the interpersonal realm uh, between mother and father and sons and daughters, that's why you have all this dysfunction in so-called poor families, but in rich ones as well. I mean, it's a disgusting, it's a ca catastrophe, cat catastrophe what's happened to our families, but it's all because of lying. It's all because of lying. I've changed that. I've, in, I've, I've reversed the inverted current of my family as far as I'm concerned, which is why I can't live around them. Right? And I see the sign of the owl holding a huge staff right now. I've reversed the deception. My whole system did. And all they did was listen to what my system needed. Like, especially when it has to do with who and who not I'm around. Who I'm not... Who I... Whom I am and am not around. There you go. <laughs> That's what marijuana does for me. Improves my English. Improve English. Good now. Smoke marijuana. English. Good now. <laughs> Rain school for smart kids. <laughs> kids is a bad word. Let's take that out of the vocabulary. It implies that they are to be used sexually. That they're sexually promiscuous by nature. That's what kid means. Just kidding.
Okay, I'm gonna sit down. I hear some people coming. Wait, maybe I'll move over here. <laughs> I'll make an attempt to hide. It's more fun. <laughs> What are you doing there, sir? Oh, that's a nice. I would. Hmm, that makes a really cool little sign right there. I love that tree. You know, once you've satisfied basic needs for safety in a wilderness area, you know, wildlife, people, falling trees, calamity, stroke, maybe some sort of satellite finally non-existent satellite gets you with your death ray. All the things that could befall you. I keep hearing this lady talking loud, but she never comes down the trail. And I told you, that one lady, I said, looked like an invert. It's fascinating. The hive mind doesn't even know what it's doing. There's no other noise except this section of the park. I just keep talking very loudly down there. Keeps my blood up, though. Thank you. Now I'm going to do a, a banishing. I mean, curse you fucking inverts. Yeah, I see somebody jacket. Get the fuck away from me. What the fuck, you fucking imps. You have no business here. Up in a puff of smoke, you fucking pieces of shit. Up in a puff of smoke, you fucking pieces of shit. Up in a puff of smoke, you fucking pieces of shit, inverts. That's it. Up in a puff of smoke, you fucking inverts. They're walking away now. Either way, this person's going down here. I didn't know I could see that far. Wow, cool. I can see, I can just learned something thanks to these fucking inverts. I know which trees, where to stand and where to look to see as far down the trailhead as I can. That's fucking awesome. Just have to look down these trees, these massive trees right here. And they've got lots of faces on them too. So I just look to the left of that one, right through here. Now, right above the end of another log. Oh, right with the V of, uh, of Odin. Nice. Wotan. So I just look right through there while I'm standing here. That's cool. I think I'll put another log here just to symbolize that. That'll be useful. Sit. Stand right there. There you go. Stand right here and look straight uh, this way. There we go. Or this way, sorry. There we go. I think I've got her down. Which way to point her? Which way do I point her, Daddy? Any which way, Sonny. Just keep her happy. Okay, that'll do. It's cool. Actually, this particular spot actually offers me a good advantage. Hmm, look at that. Yeah, so banish the inverts. They dispel right away. They wouldn't even know why. I've been using uh, counter magic actually last month a lot and I've seen some wonderful results um, usually to do with my mom because she unfortunately has lots of inverts in her life and I didn't say about that my one uh, that counselor I live with I've lived with a few counselors actually they're all fucking psychopathic by the way um, uh, anyone spiritual into, th into healing stuff like that they're all narcissistic inverts uh, it doesn't matter how sincere they are it's just an inverted realm and uh, getting out of it was the best thing I ever did. It's like uh, take, it's like flushing the toilet, right? When you get spiritual people out of your life, you just hear that flush, and all their fucking spirals of magic and wonder and enchantment and all your wishes coming true, and being a fucking uh, sexually inverted piss pot for the highlight reel of the shit on a stick Olympics, which is their probably should be their greatest aspiration in life at this point, is a good thing. And uh, flush, flush they go. They have no ability to take an interest in people. Not not RH negatives anyway. It's incredible. I think RH negatives should have a special school of thought. I mean, it's a lonely world for the RH negatives. But they're perfectly uh, well suited to it. My mom is RH negative, and I look at her friendships. I look at the people around her. You know, she has an old friend. She calls it her oldest friend, and I found an old letter she'd written to her, and she had it in a safe place. I'd spilled some water, and I picked it up and was going to try. I looked over it, and I won't say the message on the card, but I have some experience with this because I had a friend who used to refer to me this way, and she, she said something about being an old friend, and she put friend in, in ampersands, in quotation marks, as in not really a friend. Now, best case scenario, she's talking about, well, you're not a friend, you're family. But I don't think that's actually the case. 
and that's the energy of inversion, right? It almost speaks out of two sides of the mouth at once. On the one hand, you think, oh, that's particularly endearing. On the other hand, actually, that's actually kind of crazy. Who puts ampersands around the word friend to your best friend? Right? Because you can be different kinds of friends. It goes without saying you can be a good friend or a bad friend. Why put ampersands around them? I imagine a lot of friendships, they change in what a friend means. I've, I can look back and I think, friend. Even inverted people I've known. I can think, friend. Okay, I think there's somebody. Just wait a second. I might have picked up an invert in here. I'm just going to wait. I think we're okay. Yeah, it just looked like an invert. It's actually part of a, a log, I think. Wow, interesting. That's fascinating. You see the, the play of the mind. There was one time, actually, I was at a riverhead, and uh, I was just hanging out, and I saw something that looked like a person. I thought, oh, no, that's not a person. I eventually figured out it wasn't a person. I mean, we're talking people that like over 100 yards away, right? And my vision isn't perfect, to be honest. Um, 44 years old, right? I, I don't wear glasses. I probably should. But I don't. My vision is better for it. And uh, I came back the next time, you know, and that same, whatever I thought that was, was gone. And I thought, you know, I wonder if that was a person there. Maybe some people just stand really still <laughs> for long periods of time. I don't know. It's really fascinating. But I'm looking up and I can't stop looking over there now. What was I talking about? Uh, inverts, lying, um... Yeah, they operate with a hive mentality. Um, RH negatives, I think, have a slow go at it, uh, but have a fairly good chance at having a pretty decent life in that it's it's more invigorating if you have at least the capacity to develop moral reasoning, unlike, you know, completely stark inverts. It's a beautiful forest. I'm just looking around a little more deeply over here. It's so beautiful. <sighs> beautiful as a mother. Beautiful as a mother and a father. The two seers of Sirius living out the fullness of an entirely blissful existence and wanting nothing but the most incredible Bliss wanting all their sons and daughters to be joined in living knowledge. An incredible thing, isn't it, to contemplate living beyond your grave? Life beyond the grave? And I don't think it's something you have to wait in order to do. Right? Witchcraft is all about life beyond the grave. But I'm using that in a somewhat editorial fashion. Because I think... Everything is about life beyond the grave. Life is about life beyond the grave. Right? Where, where are we not seeing life beyond the grave? Where there is life, there is life beyond death. So there is no death. Well, what we call death is not exactly what we think it is. Every week I move from one life to an, a totally different life. If you watch my videos, I take a very different kind of life from one year, one month to the next. the king's ransom for this place. Wow, I just heard the raven inside my coffee cup. That's why I stopped for a second. There was a guy, and then right at that moment, there was a guy walking by. Didn't see me, though. That's nice. 
Oh, let's see the sun through the trees now. not great resolution either, but this way I can save a lot of my camera if I'm going to make a lot of videos. I've obviously taken to a very informal approach to vlogging. I'm not selling makeup. I'm not selling anything. Uh, it's amazing to live a life where I just don't picture myself selling anything. <laughs> Uh, I can be the salt of the earth without selling, you know, and what is salt? Salt was traded, I think, right? Quite, you know, salt is important. Basic things like that. What about wisdom? You know, glad I never read the Harry Potter series. Never would, didn't want to watch the movies. Uh, watching children, uh, children of, of people I knew and grew up with these books, and they've all entered the inverted world. One of them's a confirmed lesbian. Um, these books are uh, casting uh, curses on children. I think any curse can be reversed, though. And I plan on working on that reversing curses. I love uh, hunting demons and, and cursing them away from me, cursing them away from my mother. I've had great success. Uh, if I went into all the stories I've had in the last month, it, it might not even sound that significant, but it's significant to me. My mom has started to pick up on it a little bit, because I'll say a little bit to her. And she has a problem or someone in her life is all of a sudden being cursed. And I just reverse it and next thing you know they're being let out of the hospital and it's not as serious as they thought it was and right because the doctors are trying to kill them and there's forces around them trying to kill them oh lo and behold no we're good and it may have been that they would have been just fine without my help too by the way i'm not com having completely taken leave of my senses uh but i watch a pattern of correlation even though it doesn't necessarily prove causation let's be fair but i've seen it happen a number of times and part of this started, I think, hanging out with a warlock and just bringing the sun out of the sky. And I hadn't seen him for a while and I decided I'm just going to pick up the torch. And I was doing it with my mom one day and we were having some, some success. I see a pyramid in the side of the tree. Our minds are so powerful. The scalar energy of man. So I want to show that getting out of the inverted world, what kind of power that you get to live in nature. Not to, not to make money, not to sell things. Although many people who, who want to market and that would love to have my intelligence have access to the power that I have access to. The wonderful power. And this is the language of power out here. The trees have just been waiting for me to learn that, that, that life is a language of power. It's all power. It's wonderful power. And power can be misused. It's not that one thing is all powerful. It's that life is all to do with power. It's not that everything is like blinding power every second, right? Because that power is taking flesh. It's not an explosion. It's a taking fleshion. <laughs> it's a creation, not an explosion. And it's so good at taking flesh, there isn't enough explosions in the world to stop it from continuing to grow. Right? You can't stop the earth itself from growing. There's a very rare video on YouTube about the earth growing in size. Right, the flat earth is always like, oh, look at how little territory we actually have. Ooh. <laughs> you know, or there's so much territory we don't have, it's beyond the ice wall. Or... And it's true, by the way, and buried in there is a fair question. You don't necessarily have to believe any of the geography that you've been sold, you know, that there's this much land or it's over here. That's absolutely true. But the fact that you can cast... Um, 
any doubt upon any official record or standard or measure doesn't mean that it's this other measure that you think it is. Right? It doesn't prove anything. It just puts everything in question and doubt, and then you can supply it with your own meaning. You see why you don't need to, you don't need to be a flat earther to do that. And while I'm on the subject, I, my calculations tell me the sun is only 40 miles away. I don't know how anyone could calculate that the sun is more than 40 miles away. I'd love to see that. And I think that's meaningful, that most people think the earth is uh, the sun is uh, 93 million miles away. It's virtually a part of our own atmosphere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I mean, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. Like, like that's a that's a that's an error of like a hundred percent error. That's not good science, people. Right? Ninety-three million versus forty done by some stoner on the beach during the summer. Right? Without even using paper. No, that's not true. I think I did use paper. I use some grade 9 geometry and some paper. 40 miles to the sun. I like miles. They use kilometers here in Canada, but what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> They've ma managed to get a certain group of people to fucking talk differently because they, they live in a certain place. Like, what the fuck is that? Right? Is there something about being Canadian that makes you metric? That makes you metric? I don't know. Anyway, 40 miles. You can convert that to kilometers. It's probably like 66.6 .6 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm going to do it as soon as this video stops working, which it will soon. I tell you now, this video shall stop working. And hell shall come to they who I live in those times. <laughs> hell. Hell shall come to thee. Oh, the sun is actually coming out. Lovely. Oh, wow. That's quite something. It's only, what is it, 10 o'clock here? Oh, I think it's 3327. That's what this camera goes to. Now, can somebody tell me what I was going to do when the camera stopped? Oh, yeah, fine. How many kilometers is 40 miles? Do you like to do that yourself and put it in the comment section? That would show me that you're a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course, you're at liberty to perform any calculations that you like. If you think there's any credibility to my idea... My calculations, in fact, which I trust a good deal more than so-called science, that the sun is only, in fact, about 40 miles away from where I'm sitting right now. What the fuck are they doing up there? <laughs>